Talked about it. Well, I wasn't listening. (laughs) (laughs) Blows my mind. That was hidden in the wall. This is not the same. There's nothing like what was here originally. There are few renovation shows as interesting as Hometown on today's television screens. With a touch of modernity and good taste, Ben and Aaron Napier have transformed many houses in their Mississippi hometown, Laurel, becoming the perfect example of a TV marriage that can actually work well without unnecessary drama or scandals. Despite how well-loved the Napier marriage is by the show's viewers, the authenticity of Hometown and their house-flipping escapades are often questioned by the most skeptical part of their audience, but who continue to tune into the show, perhaps why they continue to watch. Some aspects of the show, such as finances, the labor, design, and even the Napier's marriage have become subjects of discussion. So how real is Hometown? Is it scripted or fake? Are some scenes staged? And what about the real nature of the Napier's marriage? This and more we will tell you in this vid. Ben and Aaron Napier have undoubtedly become one of our favorite TV hosts in the house flipping genre, starting from the fact that they're an adorable couple, also committed to their work and frequently delivering some of the most jaw-dropping house renovations on television. It's easy to understand why Hometown is so successful. That being said, no matter how much we love the Napier family and their show, it's understandable that not everyone trusts the authenticity of the renovations featured in it. To clear things up, Ben and Aaron's relationship is real. So are their careers as a woodworker, carpenter joiner, and designer respectively. The families and renovations are also real, but the furniture shown on screen isn't always meant to remain in the houses unless the homeowners originally owned them or purchased items after filming is over. The -the on-the-spot interviews are as real as they come, as those are taken right away after filming every scene. We were very lucky to have such smart producers who know the right way to ask a question to get a halfway interesting response, Aaron told Hooked on Houses in 2016. Nevertheless, it's safe to say that editing and a bit of refilming of scenes often takes place to ensure interesting scenes and in view of time restrictions of each episode, although keeping everything money related in secrecy is unfortunately very common in the reality genre. Aaron and Ben Napier are luckily very open about the subject. As Aaron revealed on her Instagram account back in 2017, everything you see in the show, including the renovation, designs, supplies, and furniture are covered by the homeowners. Initially, the families establish how much exactly they're willing to pay to have the homes transformed. The Napiers then work within that budget and design a project based on it, trying to cover as much as they can with it. Even so, saving money is always a possibility for them. I like to use the homeowner's own furnishings and objects as much as possible, explained Aaron, who also admitted that when the furniture isn't covered by the budgets, a product catalog is offered to the owners, so they are able to leave it or buy it. Regarding the rooms unseen after renovations are done, Aaron affirmed that she and Ben only renovate the spaces regarded as the most important by the owners, though again, it also depends on factors such as money and TV time. Aaron and Ben Napier's talent and hard work are definitely the reasons for their success, but we can say that a little bit of good luck also helped them on their way. Long before being featured on TV, Aaron and Ben were already doing their own thing in the design field. Their first business, Lucky Lux, was established in the early 2010s when Aaron's mission to choose her wedding's theme opened a whole new career path for her. As she explained on the shop's now inactive website, her desire to make aesthetic connections for other couples, to tell their story, to express their style through weddings, ultimately turned into a fully-fledged business. Lucky Lux's popularity as a wedding stationery boutique soon surpassed the limits of their hometown Laurel, attracting high-profile customers to their shop and gaining them features in big-name magazines such as Martha Stewart Weddings. However, it wasn't until 2014 that the Napiers caught the attention of a writer from the popular website Southern Weddings, whose interest in them grew to the point that she interviewed the couple about their house's renovation, unknowingly changing their lives forever. Aaron and Ben's interview in Southern Weddings was just the start of the biggest and most exciting adventure of their lives, said article caught the attention of an HGTV producer who, enamored with Aaron's work and love story, offered a show to the Napiers right away. We thought we were just documenting our newlywed life, But they saw the story of young people going home and doing their best to make a difference, said Aaron to Hooked on Houses. Despite the producer's insistence, there was still a long way to go before the Napier's TV debut. Several months passed, exchanging video calls, creating a concept, and filming a five-minute-long pilot episode until their show was ordered by HGTV. After two months of hard work, the hometown show was finally ready. It turned out to be so successful that to date, five seasons have been aired, and its popularity only keeps growing. However, the Napier's knowledge at keeping the show afloat didn't come out of nowhere. 
They were mentored by Chip and Joanna Gaines from the also highly successful show Fixer Upper, though certain details such as learning what wardrobe choices were fit for TV, getting used to microphones, and becoming comfortable enough in front of a camera are things Aaron and Ben had to learn for themselves. Looking at everything Aaron and Ben Napier have achieved so far in their careers, on and off TV, it's surprising to know that their first renovation project was their own home. This story takes us back to Erin's teenage years, where her love for art and design attracted her to Laurel, looking for inspiration. Her favorite activity was to imagine herself living in one of the old, typically southern downtown houses, especially one she baptized as the Yellow Cottage. Erin moved to Jackson, Mississippi for college, but returned to Laurel to relive her dream of a house there, even showing the Yellow Cottage to her then-boyfriend Ben. After graduation, the couple moved to a small loft in Laurel and lived there comfortably for a couple of years. By coincidence, Aaron and Ben then met the Yellow Cottage's owner, who didn't have the house up for sale, but miraculously contacted them just a week later. In September 2011, the Napiers became the Yellow Cottage's owner, taking their new place as an empty canvas to picture their dreams. They carefully designed and remodeled the house to fit their individual taste, keeping it modern enough for a growing family, but without losing its southern spark. Besides being owners of Lucky Lux, Aaron and Ben Napier had been involved with other interesting creative projects. As Aaron affirmed in 2016, their downtown revitalization and historic preservation efforts had started after they moved to Laurel in 2008. Their passion to preserve the past aesthetically wise formulated their careers from then on, motivating Ben to leave his 10-year ministry career to establish his woodwork shop, Scotsman Co. For Erin, it was time to take independent creative projects sometimes indirectly related to her business, describing herself to Hookton Houses as an artist who's happy to do pro bono design work for the city with vintage-inspired murals and banners. Regarding their educational background, both are graduates from the University of Mississippi, Jackson. While Ben studied history, he affirms he wanted to enroll in creative writing or Southern studies instead. For her part, Erin seems much more pleased with her Bachelor of Fine Arts, knowledge which has served her more than well business-wise, but also turned to making her long-term dream of becoming an artist into reality. A huge part of the efforts of Erin and Ben Napier goes into preserving the historical value of Laurel's buildings, not only houses. Though, of course, a lot of detail is paid to the aesthetic side of those structures, their mission goes well beyond that. As Erin wrote on her blog back in 2016, making people all across the country nostalgic for a place they've never even been to in regards to Laurel was one of the first feelings she conveyed through her work and made evident thanks to Lindsay, the HGTV producer who discovered her and Ben. Something about our little town gave her the gut feeling that she needed to reach out. For his part, Ben considers that focus on their small town of Laurel is the right way to go in order to inspire people to achieve biggest changes. You can travel if you want to see the world, but the small towns are important. That's where most people's lives begin. While Ben and Aaron's goals might sound different, hometown clearly proves that the best things are often found in the most surprising small places. Just like everything else in their lives, Aaron and Ben's love story is quite dreamy. They met on the 7th of December 2004 when Aaron was assigned to interview Ben for the college's newspaper. To say they instantly clicked is an understatement, as only six days after exchanging names, Ben confessed to her, We were sitting in my car. Damien Rice's Cheers Darling was playing. He said, I want to tell you something. I think I've fallen in love with you, as Erin wrote on her online journal. Though she confessed to loving him too, their newly discovered feelings left them with a bittersweet taste when they had to go their separate ways on the Christmas break. Erin was 19 years old when they met, and Ben two years older. But the immaturity proper at their young age didn't impede them from building a stable relationship together. They tied the knot in November 2008, immediately moving to Laurel regardless of having other options available. As we were getting close to graduation and we knew we were getting married and starting our lives, it just felt right, Ben told people. Just like that, an unexpected but long-lasting relationship started. Despite the seemingly perfect life that they show on screen, behind the scenes, Aaron and Ben Napier also faced their fair share of difficulties. In 2014, Aaron was diagnosed with a perforated appendix, which had actually partially ruptured for the first time when she was 19 years old. The condition meant her appendix healed itself, but spread scar tissue onto her other organs. Aaron underwent surgery and was finally freed from that strange health condition, but doctors warned her that becoming pregnant was an unlikely possibility for her. Not knowing is always the biggest hurdle for me to overcome. I like to have proof, and we have no proof that I would be able to have kids, Aaron told People in 2018. Having resigned to not having biological kids, in mid-2017, the Napiers were astounded to find out Aaron was pregnant with their first daughter Helen. 
who was born the following January. Their second daughter, May, was born in May 2021, another happy chapter in this family story. Aaron and Ben's first business, Lucky Lux, started the most amazing adventure of their lives, but at some point, it was left behind. The Napiers are now focused on Laurel Mercantile Co., a retailer of a wide variety of Southern-style articles, including pottery, books, wares, home decor, and self-care items. The new Laurel Mercantile honors the antique retailer of the same name, which opened in 1901, but which closed its doors three decades later after the commercialization of its products was no longer in demand. In association with friends Jim and Mallory Raspberry, as well as Josh and Emily Noel, Aaron and Ben brought the true southern spirit of Laurel Mercantile back to life. Besides their shop, Ben's woodworking business, Scotsman Co., is doing well nowadays too. Though his shop is not as big as that of Laurel Mercantile, Ben's carpentry skills are a sight to behold. Just in case you're missing seeing Ben and Aaron Napier on TV, we have good news for you. Though for now, it's unclear when exactly Hometown is returning. In late 2021, Aaron revealed on her social media that the new season had already started filming. While we wait for that, it's always nice to look back and reflect on how much Hometown has grown since its premiere in 2016, undoubtedly securing a spot for the Napier family in the entertainment world for years to come. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.